The weather is really bad today in Chicago, but I don't care because I know how to be happy no matter what. Do you want to know how? Then keep watching. Hi everyone, this is me, your Dasha Bisali at Be Strong and Love Yourself, a channel for very strong people. If you truly love yourself, you do whatever you can in order to be happy. You are not going to wait for someone, somebody else to do it for you. But do you really know what does make you happy? A lot of times we make wrong assumptions that external world will bring us happiness. We think that maybe we will be happy if we have more money or if we get married or we have a new job. But if you look at the chart, you will see that 50% of our happiness depends on our genetic and only 10% depends on external world. The good thing about this chart is that 40% uh, depends on our intentional actions. I call it brain training. This is the exercise that you take in order to increase your happiness set point. So even if you were born a little bit depressed with not extremely happy genes, you still can make some exercises and increase your happiness set point. Happiness set point is very important because we have such thing as hedonic adaptation and it means this adaptation that no matter what happens in your life, at some point you will go back to your happiness set point level. So look at the chart and you can see that you have this level and if nothing happens you stay at this level of happiness then if some bad event takes place for example if you get divorced or you lose your job your happiness level will drop down of course but eventually no matter what your brain will make it up by itself and your level of happiness will return to your set point and it's a great thing we get to adapt to bad stuff and it helps us to survive if you will but on the other hand, when something great happened, you just bought a new house, you got a new beautiful wife, or you got a great job, your happiness level goes up, you're very happy, but unfortunately we get adapt to good things um, as well. And at, at some point your happiness level will go back to this happiness set point level. So obviously the best thing we can do is to work uh, on our happiness set point uh, rather than on external world especially because it is hard to control external world it's much easier to work on your own brain your own neural connections so how do you do that if we talk about there are tons and tons of exercises to um, Im increase your happiness set point but today i want to focus on hedonic adaptation so if uh, something good happens, how can you keep this feeling of joy for longer time, longer period of time? Well, first of all, um, you can do savoring. Savoring is, um, to me, is kind of a stop and enjoy the moment. And it can be with little things, uh, for example, uh, like ice cream or something yummy that you eat or it can be a nice um, dinner with the person you love if you are in the present moment if you're paying attention to what's going on around you instead of thinking of something else and you savor the moment you enjoy this moment you will have a better memory of this moment and uh, as it will be a better memory it will stay with you uh, for a longer time Another thing what you can do in order to keep um, this moment, uh, this great event for a longer period of time is to think what would happen if you didn't have this great thing in your life. For example, when you get a great job in a while, you get used to it. But what if you just stop and think, what if I didn't get this job? How my life will look like? What if I didn't have any job? 
and uh, try to imagine that it's kind of like a negative thinking but at the same time it will help you to appreciate the things that you have better and the same thing you can do about your partner what if you never met this person and um, sometimes these thoughts will help you to as i said to appreciate whatever you have more for a longer period and um, it all leads us to gratitude and gratitude is i think is the best tool um, against hedonic adaptation and uh, you can use it anytime you want but uh, the idea is very simple just be grateful for all the things that you have and remember the worst thing you can do is to take things for granted this i am um, behavior just kills your happiness if you have something appreciate it be grateful for it and this is a habit it's just not uh, unfortunately just something that is given to you you need to put efforts in order to learn how to be grateful and uh, i think that gratitude exercise is very useful you can literally write down things you are grateful for and uh, you can write down them every day uh, and usually it's better to write down things which happened for the past 24 hours this way your brain will learn how to scan good things rather than to focus on something negative but at the same time it is very useful to say thank you thank you to people around you thank you to somebody who brings you joy and uh, kind of notice what uh, other people do for you especially if you are in a relationship and if you have a partner say thank you to your partner also you can thank you your co-workers and it will boost up your happiness in a great level it's very very useful exercise <coughs> so to sum up there is a uh, just be aware of hedonic adaptation that even if you get great stuff at some point you will lose this um, feeling of happiness because of that hedonic adaptation but you can keep it longer if you savor if you imagine that you didn't have these things and if you are grateful for all these things work on yourself work on your habits be strong and love yourself love wins